Now for reading comprehension, before we move to that uh, particular section, couple of things that I wanted to say uh, when it comes to reading comprehension section, we'll get to that part quickly. One, usually the word count is around 150 to 160, sometimes even 200, but it's a short passage, right? And there will be five questions that follow the passage. One thing that you that we need to always keep in mind is reading comprehension, we can quickly answer those five questions and get full five marks very easily in SSC exam. The only thing that you need to do is just make sure the answer that you choose is supported from the passage because there will be a direct answer from the passage, right? It will be that simple, the questions. So we'll probably look at some more, a lot more question papers in our you know, upcoming sessions. What you need to work on is just the fluency, right? How fast are you able to read and how much are you understanding of what you read? That's what you need to worry about. So every time reading comprehension, if at all you need to practice, you practice only for reading fluency, speed comprehension, nothing else. Let's go back. Let's look at the context. So in this question, so, I mean, this is like a 164 word count, okay? I'm going to give you about uh, less than 30 seconds to read this. Your time starts now. Read. And then we'll answer the questions. Are you guys reading the passage fast? So, if you look at the first question, right, it's right there in the first line itself. And another thing, easy thing to follow is, keep in mind, sequence, right? Sequence of questions. Usually, first question will be in around the first two or three two, three lines, right? Not necessarily, it may not be the case always. Sometimes you will have also the answer to the first question in the last line also. But I'm saying, one of the greatest modern science graduate from which college? It's right here. Graduated from St. Xavier's College. As obviously, this is the answer. Let's move. What is meant by your man's service? Where is it? Where is your man coming? Can we, can we quickly identify which line is it? I'm just going to number the lines, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where is, where is this coming? Yes, it will be easy. That's what I'm saying. Last line. Okay. So what is meant by human service? And look at the context. Okay. I have options minimal, invaluable, discrete and sporadic. Now look at the sentence and try and apply a little bit of context clues and logic. It has now become a world famous research laboratory doing human service to various branches of science. Now the sentence is giving you a positive or a negative meaning. Positive. Correct, right? So it's giving me a positive meaning. Why I, like most of you pointed out, I have some clue words, right? World famous, service to various branches of science. Obviously, it's giving me a positive meaning. So I need to look at synonyms from the options, right? Minimal, not a very positive word. Discrete, unrelated word actually. Sporadic, not a very positive word. Invaluable on the other hand means what? Something that is priceless, right? Something that is. So given the options, if they are, they are not giving minimal service to various branches. Who said minimal? Sporadic means something that is not continuous. Like, you know, it's in spurts with a lot of interruptions in between. Something that is sporadic. Like sometimes when you open the tap, no, there won't be a free flow of water. The tap will look as though it's vomiting. It will make sounds. Sporadic sp splurts of water will come out. Right? That's the meaning of sporadic. So, all of these words, the options, if you look at it, it's not the right options. Are you following? So when I say something is sporadic, something that is very irregular, it is not flowing smoothly. That's the meaning of sporadic. I, I gave you an example for you to quickly relate it to. So from the given options, I know what is discrete. Everybody knows what discrete is, right? Discrete, you're showing, you're being very, very cautious, being very careful, right? You don't want people to notice you. Yeah, again an unrelated word in the context. So obviously the answer here is, so what is meant by human service? Invaluable. Yeah, so whatever they were doing, the service that we're giving for various branches of science, the reason why it was world famous because whatever the service that they were providing was priceless of extreme worth and value. Yeah, so here you just applied a little bit of context clues, figured out if the context is giving a positive negative meaning and you found the answer. The answer is B. Next one. Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bose was a pioneer in the discovery of the wireless radio and the dash. Again, which line is it? Look for where you can identify. Discovery. I see it here. So you will have direct answers. Let's say 
you don't want people to notice you when you step out of your house right so you're very particular about the color of the clothes that you choose you don't obviously choose govinda type colors right no bright yellow or bright red you'll probably wear sober colors gray light blue yeah so discreet is it's just you don't want to cause any embarrassment to yourself socially you being very discreet so yeah that's our answer see right direct question so you won't waste a lot of time these questions you just have to have an eye for detail next one jagdish chandra bose made remarkable contribution to the science of botany by providing with the help of an instrument of his own invention that trees and plants have not only life but the thing that you need to do is be able to quickly zero in on some clue as the best thing to do is this is what they say scanning right uh, i don't know if you've attended any of my videos i have taken some videos on reading comprehension i i keep speaking about you know skim scan some some of the strategies that you can apply yeah this is it is so small right some of the strategies that you can quickly apply to identify clue words so when you're reading the question itself i want you to quickly zero in on some clue words right remarkable contribution so check for where it's coming that will kind of help you but feel pleasure and pain as we do right it's right there sixth line yes that's it if you can quickly learn to scan information which means your eye you should get into the habit of being able to identify keywords and scan for that in the passage you don't have to read the entire passage just identify keywords from the question and scan the passage to see where you can spot those quest spot those keywords pay attention to that context that entire sentence that's it right so constantly keep practicing the strategy of scan identify keywords sometimes you can have one passage sometimes you can have two passages right uh if they reduce the number of questions in sentence improvement uh and idioms and phrases and one word substitutions let's say they say they ask just 3 3 3 instead of 5 they might include another passage so you might have two passages with five questions each that's 10 questions for rc alone what is meant by tripause or tripause how was pronounced from cambridge university now where is this coming this is your uh, clue word obviously right where can you quickly spot this it's right here in line 2 at least for last year i think there was only one passage that was asked if i'm not wrong so i want you to apply a little bit of logic here again in the context what does it mean so he he graduated from st xavier's college he then obtained tripos from camp so what do you what do you obtain from a gra- when you graduate scholarship trophy degree or medallion logical answer is a degree right so actually tripos is any of the a ba examinations that you take with honors at cambridge university in england that's what it is so when you graduate you obtain a degree that's the logic yes and then it says and join the presidency college called it as professor of physics yeah so you can connect the dots so that was it not a scholarship you need to understand the difference is that what the context is talking about it just plainly says he graduated from so and so college as soon as you graduate you get a degree and then you start work him receiving a grant okay 